Hey everybody, this is Toots here, and I want to show you guys an automated redstone shop. Um, this one here is actually not my own design. This was one made by Cube Hamster. Um, there's a great video on it. I'm gonna link it in the comments or in the description. Um, but the way Cube Hamster shop works is um, you have some number of items that you pay in and of some type and some number of items that come out as your payout. So we're paying three diamonds for 20 fish. And let me just make sure, oh, there's some in there. <laughs> uh, let me just dump those back in this chest. So we are going to, first of all, get some diamonds. We're gonna pay in three, and we should get 20 fish out. Coolio. So um, the nice thing about this is that we can change this item. It doesn't have to be diamonds. It can be anything. Um, it doesn't have to be three diamonds. It could be any number. Well, within limit. I think uh, the limit is like five stacks, but, you know, I, I can't think of anything I would charge five stacks for. Five stacks of diamonds for. Um, and similarly, same deal with the fish here. Um, we don't have to, you know, we could pay out swords, we could, you know, like non-stackable items, we could pay out uh, any other item, basically. And we could pay out any amount of it. Uh, as long as you know our storage system up there holds that much of the item. Uh, the one drawback of this system, although it's pretty awesome, is that it's huge. Look at it. It's um, I think it's 18 blocks long. It is something like 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, uh, I believe, 14 or 15 blocks tall, and it's actually four wide. Uh, they tile it so that. You can make it every three blocks, so you know this is actually part of this section over here. What you actually need for width to put in one of these slices, um, and I just it felt like it was too big for me. Um, when I tried building it, I had some minor issues, um, and JL has a video uh, tutorial of it. I can link you guys to that, but uh, he even has trouble recreating this thing because it's so huge and there are so many pieces I don't blame him um, and so if JL has trouble rebuilding this redstone um, I think most of you will too I mean I certainly did um, so I made an alternative which is a baby compared to this one it's a baby um, it's actually exactly too wide it's fully tileable um, you know it's it's not, you know, it's it's not as small as it could be. I've seen, you know, some that are almost as small, but like, I, I mean, the whole point of this is I just want a tutorial for you guys up on YouTube so that you can make these. And, uh, and yeah, uh, I just want to show you that this does the exact same thing. Um, so before we were charging three dimes for 20 fish over there, we're going to do that over here. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, derp. Um, so we're gonna take three diamonds, uh, and and then you know just like the other shop, you can you, like you can try and put in junk blocks, but it won't take them. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Uh, the other shop has that as well. But we're gonna put in three diamonds, and oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> this should pay out twenty. Cool. Um, Sorry, I, I was uh, doing some tests before, uh, but it did actually pay out 20. Um, a nice thing about this is also, and let me just make sure I have enough in here. Uh, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can put in a bunch. Like, we can put in, like, so this is one payment, two payments, uh, three, four, five. So we can put in 15 diamonds which is five payments, and it won't get overflowed. It, it'll keep track of everything that goes into it. So uh, it should pay out uh, five payments of fish, which should be a hundred. So I'm just gonna dump it all in at once. And so, um, 
it should kick on here. And so you can start to see it paying out. Um, but again, this this is fully adjustable. You can change all the items, you can do everything, and it's too wide, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm just gonna leave that because you know it's probably gonna take a little while. Um, yeah. Um, but it's gonna you know it's gonna take a little while. But um, I'm gonna do a uh, video that's in, sort of inspired by what JL did for Cube Hamster's tutorial. Um, but it's gonna be less steps, yay! Because it is shorter. Um, you can see uh, if you're gonna build it up level by level. It matters how tall it is, and this is uh, a little bit shorter. So, <clears throat> we're going to see here uh, that I have three shops built up, and then I'm going to build up another one right next to it, and I'm going to try and use different colors so you can see how to build each one up. Okay? So, let's just double check, and we should have 100 items in there. Awesome! Cool, we've got 100. Um, so let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm gonna use different colors here. Um, and so what kind of wool can we use? I'm thinking pink because they say real men wear pink and real men, I imagine, also use pink wool blocks. I don't know that, just guessing. But, okay, so here we go. Um, we're gonna start with a chest here. Uh, we're gonna make that double chest. We're gonna put two blocks here, and you see I have a trap chest. Um, you could put a normal chest; it doesn't matter. We are gonna have some hoppers here. Shift click them into the chest, and shift click the other one into that other hopper. We're gonna put another block here. Redstone dust. Block. Block. Redstone. Block. Oh my God! Level one finished. Okay, so on to level two. This is the only part of the design that alternates. Um, so you see that we have a chest here. Uh, we can't put another normal chest next to it, obviously, so we need to put a trap chest. So that's what's there, regular chest here. And then we're gonna shift click a trap chest here and make that a double chest. So we're gonna start with two solid blocks. We're gonna put a solid block here, a solid block here, and then let's get our half slabs up, half slab here, half slab here, Ooh. and one here. Now for the redstone, comparator here coming out of that chest, redstone dust, looks like we're missing a half slab, so let me just put that there. Redstone dust. And you can see we've got a wire going all along here. Redstone dust, redstone dust. Torch. Torch. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Uh, but that should do it for the second layer. On to layer three. You can see we've got a lot of hoppers here. So let's put those down. And so we're going to put that on the left side of the chest. We're going to shift click one here and then have the rest facing into it. And so we're going to have uh, one. So that's one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see they're all facing towards this one here. Um, let's do the rest of this here, so redstone dust here, redstone dust here, redstone dust here, and yeah, redstone dust here. Now let's put up our half slabs, half slab here, half slab here, here, and it looks like we have one in this gap here, which is a little awkward. Let's put a half slab there. And then we're going to put a sticky piston here. A comparator here. A 
comparator here, and you can see that we have uh, hoppers. So we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have to start by you know you can put in a junk block here, but just like shift click it so you don't put the uh, comparator in the subtract mode. Point a hopper in this direction. Break that block. Shift click a hopper into this hopper so that they are facing each other, just like all of these. So this is actually the basis for the brain of this payment system, the shop. Okay, uh, so I think that does it for level three. Let's go to level four. Okay, so let's put all our hoppers in. So it's just gonna be this one in the front here. Now we can do solid blocks. So we're gonna go out uh, two from that hopper that you just placed, redstone block, or I'm sorry, solid block solid block on top of another hopper and we're shift clicking to put those in remember solid block on top of the uh, sticky piston solid block here at the end of this half slab and a solid block at the end of this half slab looks like we're doing okay so far Let's put down our redstone now. So let's put all the wire down first. So you're gonna put wire here. Redstone wire here. Here. I think it does it for that. So um, we're gonna put a repeater here. And I think that's it for, oh no. We are putting a repeater also facing this block out front here. Let's put down our torches. Um, I think those are all the torches we're putting in. So we are going to put a redstone block. It doesn't matter where you put, you know, which redstone block you have here, or or here. You can you can put it on either side. So I'm going to put it on the other side just so you can see. Uh, we're going to put our sticky piston here. And um, you can see that these these uh, comparators are blinking on and off, obviously because these hoppers are passing items back and forth, but you may be interested what's inside them. And that's actually uh, what's controlling the payment that you allow in. So the way this works is you're going to put in one redstone torch or one of any item. It doesn't really matter. We're going to use different items just so it's easier to see. And then you're going to use the number of things, or the you know the number of payments that you want to accept. So back there we were using three diamonds. So we're going to put three of any item here. So really it's four. I mean you can you can use something else, but I'll just use this uh, so it's clear in your mind. This is what we're accepting in as payment. If we wanted 20 diamonds for 20 fish, we would put 20 uh, 20 items here, or five diamonds for 20 fish we will put five redstone dust here, okay? So we are going to just leave that for now. So as it turns out, um, I had a weird um, situation here. I, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but um, when I was using MC Edit, things must, must have uh, glitched out. So there's an extra hopper here. I just knocked that out and um, this one obviously should be facing down. Um, oops. But it looks the same as in this third level. Like, so when we were building this up, that was all right. Um, it just, for some reason, on the fourth step, the hoppers got all weird. Um, so just make sure that, you know, all of these are consistent with the, the world download one. And then. You should have half slabs here and here. And now all of this should be perfectly consistent. And move on to the one, two, three, four, fifth layer. Awesome, we're almost more than halfway done. So, where do we start here? Uh, let's start.
start with the solid blocks. I like that. So we're going to put block here, block here. We are going to put a block here. Put a block here. And are there any half slabs? It looks like yes. Block here. And then let's put in our half slabs. Got one here. And actually, now we are onto the redstone. So let's put down all the redstone dust first. Got redstone here. And actually not a lot of other redstone, uh, just torches. And comparers, but let's put down the torches first. So we've got a torch here, a torch here, and a torch here. We have a comparator here, and a comparator here on these half slabs. And then you're gonna do the same thing that you did back uh, with the other hoppers. You're gonna shift click here. Uh, don't put that comparator into subtract mode. We're gonna put a hopper facing this block, break it, and then put another one facing in there. And same thing here, we're gonna be figuring out uh, the number of items to put in here. And you can see that, you know, you can see I don't have to put redstone dust in. Um, I can put in any kind of item. But this hopper system up here is going to control what the payout is. So over there uh, on my full shop, I had 20 fish paying out. So what we would do for that is put in a redstone torch. and then put in 20 redstone dust. So it's gonna be one, one redstone torch and then 20 of the item you wanna pay out for this upper hopper here, or for these upper hoppers here. Again, it doesn't matter which side you put them in. All that stuff matters later. Ah, sorry, I misplaced the half slab. Let's move that over here. And we are just gonna have Ah, hoppers. I'm struggling today, sorry. Hoppers facing one down into this one, shift click it, and then shift click another one into this upper hopper here. And that should do it for level five. For level six, we're almost done. We are just gonna put in our solid blocks first again. So we have two here, one here, ah, one above that torch, and then we have a bunch here. We have a little L shape. Um, looks like that's it for the solid blocks. So <clears throat> let's move on to half slabs again. So remember you want to be using the top side. You don't want to be using, or you don't want to be doing the underside half slab. You want to be doing the top ones because you can't put redstone wire on top of the other ones. Um, ah, this is kind of annoying to put down. Um, but so this is a solid block, but we actually need a sticky piston facing down that holds that block, okay? Um, so just make sure you keep that in mind. Um, but let's do the other sticky pistons. Um, we have one here as well. We have one here. And that's it for sticky pistons. Let's put down uh, our hoppers. So we're going to shift click a hopper down into this one. That's it for 
hoppers for this level. Let's ooh, put in redstone wire, which apparently activated all of that stuff. Uh, don't worry, it's not interference, it's just blocks updating. Looks like no more redstone wire. Uh, and actually, you know, it's it's there's not going to be a lot of stuff going on. We've actually built most of the complicated stuff. Um, we have a torch here. We have a comparator here. And I believe we're done. I mean, yeah. Oh no, redstone block, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding, redstone block here. Cool, now we are done with level six, I believe. On to level seven. So for level seven here, We are going to be putting down our solid blocks, and you can see the shop already starting to take place here. So not a lot of solid blocks, we're just going to put one on top of the sticky piston. Let's do our half slabs now. We have one here, and that's it for that. And now let's put down our redstone dust. Let's put that all the way down here. Awesome. And let's put down our other stuff. So, repeater here. And then we're gonna work on the front. So, dispenser, I mean, you don't have to use a dispenser. You can use a dropper, you can use, um, you could even use a chest if you want. Um, I just like the fact that you this takes up the whole space, whereas like you can see through down into the guts of this thing if you use a chest. Um, so that's just why I prefer it. But um, remember, this is the pay-in hopper, or I'm sorry, the pay-in dispenser. So uh, we're gonna want to indicate which type of item we're putting in there. So let's say diamond. The rest of these actually will take redstone uh, the way I built them. But uh, are we missing anything else? It doesn't look like it. Um, cool. Uh, so keep in mind also the you can set this up here or you can set this up somewhere else. But the filter is actually here. Um, I usually use some item that's th that takes stacks of 16, um, just so you you know who wants to burn 23 items or 23 diamonds in one of these things if that's what you're taking as payment because that's otherwise what it would take um, the one thing you have to be careful about for these systems is that and I'm sure anyone who's you know worked extensively with filters will know this you uh, put in if you put in uh, the filter item you have to worry about uh, someone putting those in and it'll, it'll take that as payment. Um, so I can put in glowstone and it won't take that, but if I put in an ender pearl, it'll take that, which is a problem. Uh, it just messes the hopper up completely. Um, but the shortcut or the solution to that is to rename these items, which I'm going to do. And because I'm super mature, And just, you know, you want to pick something that people won't be able to guess, uh, you know, assuming that people are, are trying to screw your shop over, <laughs> which they may not be. But you're going to put the named item in here, and that way, if someone puts in, you know, let's just put in the diamonds here. You can see it working already. Um, if we put in ender pearls, it just holds those. So that's good. Okay, so that is level seven. Moving on to level eight. We're gonna put a solid block here. Solid block here. Half slab here. 
Half slabs coming out of the back of that solid block. Um, we're gonna have another dispenser here. And then we're gonna have hoppers feeding into that dispenser. So you're shift clicking so that these are all facing in this direction. And then you have one facing this hopper here. So you're shift clicking. Let's see if I can, yeah, this one is aimed into this one here. You're gonna put one redstone dust in the back here. And then we're just gonna configure this again. And so let's take this out because we are using diamonds. Diamond. And then let's do fish. Okay. And so that is level eight. On to level nine. So this is, I mean, you're basically done at this point. We're going to put redstone wire here. We're going to put a double chest here. You can use a single chest if you want, but if you want more storage, put a double chest. There shouldn't be a hopper there. Derp. A uh, redstone lamp here. Block here. Comparator here. And if you've already set up the filters or, or the items down here in your filter and everything, you're basically good to go once you fill this chest up. Um, so let's just uh, make sure everything is set up. And so this is a good review of sort of setting up all the items. Um, so we're paying in three diamonds for um, 20 fish. So we're paying in three diamonds for 20 fish. And we are going to set this one to three. So this is gonna be one redstone torch and three dust. And then here we're paying out 20, so we're going to put one redstone torch and 20 redstone dust. Okay, and so another thing here that I haven't mentioned is the number of items you have in this chest. So it looks like, uh, and so this is something you're actually going to have to tinker with based on how many uh, items you have in your chest. Um, and I would actually be careful not to put um, a lot of unstackable items. I put them in here so, you know, it doesn't require as much, as many stacks of redstone um, dust here, but basically this fills the place of a redstone dust stack. If you have stackable items, you basically would put a stack in each one of these sorts places. So, you basically what you want to do to make sure this thing is working properly, once you set up the payment numbers here and here, is to basically just keep feeding in items until you get your first payment, and then everything will be set up. So let me get fish, and actually I, I realize now that I was using uh, actually raw fish, but um, this just goes to show you that this works for all kinds of fish. Um, you can see as you fill this chest up, this light goes on, which is a nice thing for people um, who are thinking about buying from your shop. You don't have to constantly tell them whether or not it has items, or they don't have to guess whether it has items. We're just gonna um, know by looking at this light. You can see here that this one is off, and it's because the chest is empty. So it's a nice feature of this thing. Um, so let's try and uh, set the filter, uh, make sure that's all working. Ah, so Ender Pearls, that's a bad thing, right? We're gonna put in our specially named Ender Pearls and six items. And we're just gonna keep feeding in diamonds until this thing is set up, okay? There's one. Whoa! 
It's already paying stuff out. Cool. And so it actually should just pay out a, uh, yeah, I took one out. So let's try this one more time and it should, everything should work perfectly. So one, two, three. And 20, cool. So everything works. Um, yeah, uh, so now you have a tileable redstone shop. You can put a sign there, do whatever you want, fill this up, change items. Um, just to show you how this works, let's just say we want to only give out 10 fish. Let's say fish are super expensive in this world. We'll put it in three. I may put in four, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just gonna give out one payment. But there we go, we only get 20. Or I'm sorry, we only get 10. But there you have it. So this is my redstone shop system. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna make this a, uh, or I'm gonna make the world download available to all of you guys. Um, so if you guys liked it, please let me know. Um, please let me know if this is helpful or if you would like any further assistance with you, I, I'm even going to show you guys or give you guys the um, address to the, the server that I play on at Shilohcraft. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good one.